There are six main game passes on Blocks Fruits, and if we add up the value of all of them, it costs about 5,500 Robux. Converted into cash, it's almost $100. But why is it so expensive and, and is it really worth it? How much game time will you save by buying them all and how far ahead of your friend will you be? To find out, I'm going to document my journey over 7 days from level 1 to 2550 and I'm going to buy a game pass every time I hit a snag. I gathered a horde of bandits here on the first pirate island, and guess what? When I defeated them all, a new mission for a new island, it had already been released and was available. So I thought, man, since I'm gonna have all the game passes, the first one I need to get around all these islands is probably a fast boat. That's a very clever way of getting around Blocks Fruits. I just need to come to the store and look for the fast boat game pass. It costs 350 Robux. And I've just bought this game pass, guys. Let's be honest here. Level 10 using a fast boat, talking to NPCs from luxury boats. Okay, bro, this is I don't even have. Actually, I do a thousand bucks to pay. <laughs> it's not possible. I've just finished. I can't even jump on this boat. Look, can someone just help me? Help! To prove that the boat game pass is worth it. I did a test. If you go out with the worst boat in Blocks Fruits and sail to the jungle island, you'll take absolutely 53 seconds. But if you take a Game Pass boat, it will take you 27 seconds. It's half the time, my friend. And when I arrived here on the jungle island, some people already noticed that I was on a fast boat. One of them was a girl, including Bernadette Keychain. What a weird name. Hey, buddy. What is it, girl? Could you take me to the Fountain Island? Then take me to the lava too? What happened was that having a giant boat like that attracted the attention of this whole public server. One of them is even trying to steal my boat, but I've come up with a great idea. Only if you spin a fruit for me, okay? Wait, they stole my boat, my brother. They stole my boat. What's that? <laughs> yeah, that's fine. All right, fine. I arrived here in the Zioli's even confused with people just like me and Bernadette has just spun a fruit? A diamond? Okay, and a spike. I just got two fruits and a guy came in who still doesn't have any fruit. I'll be nice and give him one. Now that, I've got my first fruit and it's literally a diamond. I'll take them, as agreed. And since they've literally broken my sentry boat, which costs a thousand berries and I don't have a thousand berries, we're going to be a bit crowded. I hope, ma'am, that the, you're going to still give me five stars towards the island of the volcano. So I sailed the oceans of C1, and the first stop of the race was Volcano Island. You can get off, my lord. Next stop, fasten your seatbelts, ladies. The boat is about to take off towards the island of the fountain. You can get off, ma'am. This race has cost you dearly. Hey, my boat, brother. My boat, get off. Hurry up. Oh, those rude customers. And I did so much boat work that I got a rocket fruit, a flame, and a sand that I think is even better than this diamond fruit here. After storing the fruit, I saw that two people were in the Zeolis having a very interesting chat. Hey, notifier activated. Speak up. Maybe it's in the Colosseum by the meters. He shouldn't have revealed the spot of the fruit, because if I use my boat quickly, I'll get there long before they do. While I took my fast boat, the two guys sped off towards the Colosseum. I think they're going to the wrong place because the Colosseum is right here. Look at their boat. My boat is very fast, man. Look at that. What? What, my brother? It spawned a magma. A lucky day. It's a lucky day. A lucky day. Magma in storage. Whoa, the guys just got here, man. Hey, give the fruit back. I didn't see anything, man. Sorry, man. English or Spanish with that very good excuse, I can go and level up. Finally, I was at level 95. After I ate the magma, my up accelerated dramatically. Because it's a Lugia type fruit, that's very good for leveling up, guys. It's really good. It's kind of funny that because I'm in the snow using a magma fruit. That's it, creating and erupting volcanoes in the ice. A day has passed and I'm already at level 474, but I'm identifying a certain problem. And I'm going to show it to you now. 
I'm going to interact with the cat scientist and buy the electric fighting style in for 500k berries. That's a wonder. And now I have C1's most powerful fighting style in my opinion. But here's the thing, when I came to buy my observation hockey for the incredible sum of 750,000 berries, I realized that my money was useless. And that I needed a new game pass right away. And its name is 2x money for 450 robux successfully acquired. Finally, I reached level 700. But just as I was about to leave C2, I spotted a problem in the chat. There was a player sending the following message. Can I have some fruit? I know it's annoying to ask, but I'd really like some. It would help me up faster. So I went to the Zeolas and found the guy who called himself Pedipano Gamer. And I sent him the message. Hi buddy, I'm spinning for you. Please, can I have some fruit? Yeah, it's okay, I said I'd spin. I spun a little fruit and I can't believe it, man. It's a spring. Poor thing, but at least it's a fruit, right? Wow, what an incredible fruit. After that, I went to buy the hockey of observation. I spent a lot of berries, but I got 2x money. So I'll be able to raise that berries again. And now I'm ready to go to C2. I've just arrived at C2, the sea of trades. But come on, bro. How am I going to make good trades if I don't have any good fruit? That gave me an idea. I'm going to buy the fruit notifier for 2,700 Robux successfully purchased. And the first fruit I found with my notifier was a flame which was on a haunted ship. I wasn't so lucky. Then the factory triggered. I used all my power on this bastard factory, and also on my magma fruit, which is very good at breaking the factory by the way. I destroyed the factory and a diamond fruit! I wasn't so lucky in the factory either. I found another fruit, this time the ghost fruit. I used my flying ship to go to the remote island which had a spawned fruit. It was a rubber. I found a spider in the hot and cold, then continued to climb. I also took the opportunity to do the magma raid. I called in some subscribers to help me do this raid. I cleaned up island by island until we finally managed to finish the first magma raid. Leaving magma awake will help me in this adventure, so that's a fact. I picked up several new titles. Yes, yes! It's getting very powerful! And I was getting so strong with it that I even defeated my first sea beast. I got a really cool beast hunter title. Then I went to the cafeteria to do a bit of trading. There were people on the public server who wanted to trade. I put on my spider. What's that man? He put on a dragons and ran off. Are you kidding me? That's more than messed up, huh, Steven? I found another more humble player. Hiptork, he'd like to make a trade. Where's your humility? Where's the humility? How can I make a trade for a leopard? There's no way. First he... While I was making the trade, a fruit vanished on my radar. It was 11 meters away, a falcon fruit. Falcon won't help me much in the trade, but that's okay. At least it's something. Stored successfully? The trader's name was Andrew. And he put on a rumble. A phoenix. A shadow. And he was bragging around. He saw my fruit and swapped the shadow for a cut. He put the shadow back on. I can't believe I'm going to get a trade like that. It's so simple. Yeah, obviously not. And people were talking. Trade two venom and a dragon and for magma perm. I'll take it. That's the first game pass perm I'm going to buy. A magma perm for 1,300 Robux. Certainly one of the most valuable game passes in Blocks Fruits. And also the most desirable. With the magma perm, you can do a lot of things. I put in magma and he put in dragon and venom. And I forgot that I can't get another Venom unless I buy it. The game pass for another storage. Okay now, I can store two fruits of each. With this game pass. Now I'll get two Venoms and a dragon for my Magma Perm. For the first time on this journey, I'm going to eat a Venom. Great, my first Mythic. I also got a new unlock title, Hidden Power. After that, I went to level up. But a player called Joel Pilar kept beating me and stealing my bounty, which I literally barely had. He beat me several times, so many times indeed. Then I realized I was missing something. 
the 2x mastery game pass with it i'll literally be able to advance my mastery in no time and i won't have to suffer these bounty hunters anymore and now that my venom is already mastery 300 i can summon that joel come fight nuba he'll suffer the wrath of my venom look at the dragon's transformation take that man look at my absurd defense the toxic fog is so good Take that, boy. Easy, easy, easy. He says he was a higher level than me. Easy. Then a player called Lizard came up to me and said the following. Do you happen to know Lucas? I saw that you are friends with him. My dream is to meet him. Can you get him on the server? I really want to take a photo with him and say hello. I could, but I'm in the middle of a journey. I see him every day. I like all his videos. He seems like such a nice guy, but please call him here. So I only recorded with him once. I'm not close to him. In fact, he has no idea that I'm Lucas. But when he sees this video, he'll be very happy, I'm sure. He kept asking. He was so cute that I gave in and he got very happy. And all this gave me an idea. Because when I went to look at my inventory, I realized that I had almost no accessories. So I had to defeat some bosses. With the 2x drop game pass, this game pass will greatly speed up my progress of rare items on my account. 2x drop was active. I defeated the gravity boss. And I dropped nothing less than a gravity cane. And also a meteorite. Look at this ultra cool gravity cane. One of the best swords in PvP. I know the TTK is better, but come on, that's something. I also went to detonate the haunted ship boss. This boss has a lot of drop, guys. A lot for real. We beat it and got the red cape. Man, the 2x drop is so stolen, seriously. This is one of the hardest capes to get in Block's Fruits. I was already level 1501, and now I'm going to switch my fighting style to V2. Exactly 2,500,005 frags. And now my death step fighting style is even more dope. Oh my god, man, it's really nice here. Finally, I've arrived at C3. I was getting powerful and also level 1500. And of course, I went to spin some fruit to test my luck on this seat. Damn, bro. Damn. And by the greatest coincidence of fate, I got in a public server that Samuka was on. And he was talking to two subscribers. And obviously, I pretended to be one of them. Don't worry, I'm going to talk to Lucas so he can recruit you for On Cactus. So what's Samuka talking about, man? It's not that simple to join On Cactus, Samuka. Thanks, Samuka. I had an idea. Samuka, I've been following you since Brawl. Hey, buddy. I'm a big fan of yours. I wanted to ask you something. Speak up, buddy. Ask away. Can I really ask for anything, Samuka? Can I have a dark blade? It's my dream to have one. Of course, yes. What? Samuka giving things just like that? His Robux. I can't believe it. Samuka sent me a dark blade as a present. Man, my account is so... Samuka, I didn't know you were so generous. Wow. No way, man. And now you know. If you see Samuka in a public server, just ask him for the Dark Blade and he'll give it to you. Level 2,259. Now I'm going to eat a Buddha. Do you know why? I changed my build, man. Now I'm a sword build. And Samuka, he's going to summon Blackbeard, huh? Right, Samuka? That's right, buddy. After I've killed about 20 sea beasts, I'll summon one here. We're beating this Blackbeard. He's already half with life. He's been successfully eliminated. And man, I even managed to level it up a bit. And the goal of defeating Blackbeard was to get the Dark Fragment. To enchant my Yoru in the future, I'm level 2,549. However, defeating this NPC, look at this. Level 2,550. And guess what I'm going to do now? I'm going to talk to Maka. And I'm going to upgrade my Yoru. That's right. Now it'll increase her damage by 8%. And the last game pass I've yet to use, it's the Mythic Scrolls. And it will be my Yoru who will suffer this enchantment. In fact, not suffer. It'll be blessed with sword enchantments. Let's go to the first one. Oh my god! Lucky one, piercing two, siphon. That's good. On to the second! Crossbow one, deadly one, efficiency one, elemental two. Fortune level one, piercing three, siphon one, no. Let's go for the third! Oh boy, this is where it gets tricky. Agile 1, Deadly 2, Elemental 1, Piercing 1, no bro, Sharp 2, Siphon, no! no! <laughs> Guys, I'm sorry. That's why, but here, but here's the thing. We didn't get the Blessing enchantment, but my final thoughts were that my fruit inventory was extremely messed up. 
T-Rex thanks to my notifier. And also those game passes and that I managed to climb from 1 to 2550 in 7 days. Someone else would have taken much longer. And I had the brilliant idea of choosing a random person who subscribed to the channel to give them this account as a gift. After all, I'm not going to use it. And it was just an experiment and a test that I went through during these 7 days. So if you want it, sign up now. Comment that you have a chance of being chosen. A hug from your friend Lucas. God bless you. Bye bye.